gonna show you how I did a balloon cascade. I'm kind of partially uh, done with this, um, but I'm gonna show you real quick how um, I achieved this look so far. It took me maybe five, 10 minutes. Um, this way is much faster than other ways I've tried. Um, I've done like the chicken cage, which I'm doing a tutorial on, um, chicken wire stuff um, as your base to hook your balloons to. That takes a really, really long time. Um, I wouldn't use that method unless I was doing like a really fancy event that I had a lot of time to build it up on and um, that needed a lot of uh, structure to like hold it um, for any length of time. This way that I've done, by far, I'll probably always do it this way. Um, so let's get started. These are the things that you're gonna need. You're gonna need some um, clear fishing line, craft line, whatever. Um, this I use this in like everything I do, so get lots of that. Um, you're just gonna need a needle of any sort. Um, spatter head is better. Uh, some balloons. I have tons and tons of balloons around. I got these at the dollar store. Um, you're gonna want more than 15, but this is just one of the bags I have. Um, a cold uh, or a cool temp um, glue gun. These work really handy and I'll show you uh, what I do with them. And I also, I got these at the dollar store. They're so much easier than uh, killing yourself trying to blow up all the balloons. So that is what you will need and let's get started. Just take your uh, needle and your fishing line and then you take the end of your balloon right here and you just stick your needle right through the end of the balloon right here and fish it onto the line. Okay, so after you, you tie a knot to start that will hold your, hold your initial balloon and then on the first one, what I do is I actually tie a knot around the loop where I come out. That gives it a little bit of extra strength to hold onto the other balloon. So, so you can see there's my initial knot and then after I got this one fed on, I tied a knot to this. So this will be my anchor balloon. Um, and then I'll put on a couple more balloons and I'll have this string ready I've got to hang. four balloons onto this string. Um, you're gonna wanna do multiple different um, sets of strings and different size balloons. Um, this one, because I've already got most of my base built up, I'm just putting the four on to feed this little gap right here. And then I'll start putting on um, the littler, kind of more concealed uh, balloons that help like hide these gaps and whatnot. As this is your best friend in this project, it's just a low temp um, glue gun. I got it at Walmart for like $2. Um, once you have all of your big strings of balloons hung, um, that's when this comes in handy because you'll start blowing up just littler balloons and just put a dab of glue on and then just start piecing them together. Um, that helps seam it together and um, make it more uniform. So make sure you get one of these. It's definitely worth the $2 that you'll have to spend. Um, it saves the day. And I was actually really skeptical at first about it, um, thinking like that's just gonna pop the balloons but it's just the right temperature. Don't let it stay on too long because it has popped balloons on me before, but um, it's low enough temperature that it, it does a perfect job. So make sure you get one of those. We are all finished and it turned out great. We've got all of the balloons strung up with the clear fishing line. It worked perfectly and it took me all but like 30 minutes and I did it all by myself. So if I'd have had help, I'd have been that much faster. Um, I'm gonna get close up here so you can see. The balloons are just, um, they're on some clear fishing line and they're tacked into the ceiling. Um, this happy birthday sign is available in my shop and I will link that in the description. It has some pretty glitter. I'm all about the glitter. And then I just stuck um, some little fern plants that I had um, kind of sporadically through um, the garland and it turned out awesome. It was super fast and honestly 
Um, I did it another way for my daughter's graduation and I don't even know if I want to make that tutorial now because it was so much more work like way way more work went into that um, it took us probably like a total of eight hours it probably had like two three hundred balloons it had a lot and it was beautiful it turned out great but knowing how easy this way was um, I don't even know if I would want to tell you guys how to do the um, the wire cage because this was so easy um, just some fishing line and balloons that I got at the dollar store is basically all you need uh, you probably have most everything else at the house that you can uh, work with so even in a pinch if you're just like a last-minute party or baby shower or whatever party at work um, this pulls off like beautifully and it looks like you did a ton of work and it wasn't that hard so I like easy and I like inexpensive and yeah I'm very happy with how it turned out now I've got to set up the rest of the display but I wanted to share that with you guys Thanks for watching.